Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today we're going to talk about some tickers that the room kind of picked out for me today. Plus we're going to talk about Mara and Riot. So the first one on top of my list is called Medman. M-M-N-F-F. -F. Medman is a medical marijuana company. And it's one that's surely been on the rise here lately. And we're going to go ahead and look at the chart. Pull it up. I'm going to type it in. She's had a pretty good run. One of the ladies in the room called this out. We're going to go back about 20 days. It's been on a good 20 day run. As you can tell, we almost broke a dollar today with a double top here at 99 cents. So I'm going to chalk me a little line for resistance level right there. And then we're going to tell you where maybe the pullback's going to be. And I think it could be right here, right around 84. And right there, right around the 72.93 area. Those are going to be my two support levels that I need to hold. And then a strong buy right down here at 68.42. Now I'm going to pull up the three-year chart on this baby and show you what we'll be looking at. Go up to the three-year. I'm going back three to even 20 years. I looked at one today that was 20 years back for resistance levels. So the next resistance level on this one here, if we break past that 109 area that's right in here at 109 we can take this baby right up here to this next candle bar up here and that'll be right around the 137.35 and then eventually we'll probably run up into this 200 EMA on a two on a uh, three-year chart and if we don't break that let me see if I got the right thing up here yep right here the next one will be right at 164 right where that 200 is right there. So those are going to be kind of my targets. And let's go look at this again. We've got the long resistance levels at 109. If we can break past a buck, 109, 137, and 165. And that's going to run you right into that three-year 200 EMA. Support levels, we'll take this back down to the daily. And let's put it on the five-day. There we go. Put it on the minute, five-minute. And the low, ooh, let's do a little bit of adjustment here. Right there. So that first support's going to be right at 90. Then we got 84. I'd like to see that hold. I could bring that down just a little bit to right around 82.55. If I'm looking at the daily one minute, somewhere in this channel for the second support, 82.55 to 84. And then that third channel of support is going to be right down here at the 68 level to right about 72 and that's going to be MMNFF and a great call to one of the ladies in the room and I'd mention her name but I don't know if I have permission the next one we're going to be looking at is going to be Hudson Technologies this is HDSN Hudson Technologies this has got to do with COVID so this is something that's probably very important to the COVID vaccine. Let's go ahead and pull up the chart. I'll type it in here. Let me see where my watch list at. I'll just move this over here. It'd be a lot easier to do. Uh, HDSN. Okay. Now I've got three support levels on this. We did break my resistance levels when I called this out a uh, few a uh, little time back. So we've got some supports. And I'm going to go ahead and draw. I'm actually, this is, uh, yeah, this is this year's trend lines. I changed the colors on them. Turned them a little bit yellow. So we've got a low support. We've got another one. Oh, I like this one right in here real bad. So we're going to go ahead and color that one green. And that's right there at 166. 166, make that red more noticeable okay we've got three four support levels on it that first one to hold needs to be this 176 then we've got the 172 and actually I might raise this up here to this here support level that we hit at 173 so this is going to be a little channel of support and that's going to be right here let me go ahead and color this in now, the first support to hold 
if we're gonna hold this stock, it's gonna be right at 176. Actually, I like this area right down here between 172 and 173. Then that uh, second support is gonna be right here at 168. And then the third strong buy at 166. Anything below that, I'll be jumping in the trade. Now you could have a sharp little pullback and then a retracement back up. I traded this the other day and got out of it and haven't got back into it yet. I'll probably retrace and look back in it tomorrow. So the resistance, well, the support levels again, is I hate to see it go any lower than this 166, but it can, and if it does, we could probably retrace back down here to 163, or maybe right in here at 160. And that's going to be HDSN. Let's pull up the 20-day. Look for the next resistance levels. We need to go ahead and break this resistance at 180. And if we can get past 180, got to come up here and get into my tools. Draw this little trend line at 180. I'm going to turn that red. That's going to be the resistant. Ooh, what we got here? Let's try this again. There we go. Okay. We got to break that 180. And to get past 180, the next resistance low is going to be chalked up probably right around here. Right or, well... Tell you what, this is getting pretty fogged up. Let me look at the yearly. We've got a lot of trend lines on here. I see why. So let's do something different. Just erase all that. I've been playing the heck out of this trade. We're going to clean it up. Start fresh. 159. Your charts get a little bit foggied up. You need to clean them up. That's, you know, I like it. Keep it simple and clean and fresh. The hard resistance is going to be that 202. If we can get past 202, then we'll take it up here to this different level right up in here, right around the 232. And then we've got a little support level right there. And that's where we closed at. Looking at this little thing right in here, that's what we got to break. So we're going to go ahead and relook at this again. This is on the three-year chart. I'm telling you, I'm having to go back three years to find some of these resistance levels. And then I'm going to draw a couple in here on the 20-day. Get a little chart lesson today on how I find a lot of these resistance levels. And then right in here. Okay. Now this is how I'm going to look at it. 137 needs to hold. If we do have a pullback, it's going to be to 137 and then retrace it back up. Resistance that we needed to break today was this 170. And you can see we broke that yesterday's high at 170 and brought it up to a whole new different resistance level here at 180. Now if we can bust past 180, we've got one little resistance level here we got to get to at 198. And that's right at the $2 level. And then at 207. And if we pull back to the three-year, remember I said low support at 137, strong buy here at 147, 152, and then that 159. That is if 170 holds, then we're going to take it up and break resistance at 180 to 198 to 207. And then you need to pull up your three-year chart and go ahead and extend on that past that 107. But 207, I mean. And that'll be 232. And that's going to be HDSN. The next one we're going to look at is going to be SPI. SPI Group. Looks like they're into green energy and renewable energy product development. And so far we're looking at a lot of solar panels. Products and services. You can always get up and look at the investor's relationship in here on their charts. And they do have a little video right here. Let's go ahead and stop this baby. You can always watch that on a different time date, but not tonight. We're going to go ahead and pull up the chart on SPI. Take a good look at it. I love how this had a big old bounce to 46.67. I think this stock is going to be uh, due for another good little bounce. We're going to go ahead and erase all these lines up here. Erase every one of them so I can see it a little bit more clear. We're going to start fresh. 
we've got a little resistance level that I'm going to be looking at here at 1211. That's what we need to break. If we can break past that 1211, we'll be able to take it up here to 1598. Low support is going to be right down in here, right at 896. So let's pull up to 20 day. And we're going to find an equilibrium in this channel, that 896. Actually, we're going to adjust that to 930 support level. We've got a little pivot point right in here at 1035. And then that first support is going to be right here at 1091. And then we're going to find something right down in here. And I think a beautiful spot right here. Whoop, there we go. I'm looking at these little place right in here. Right in, just kind of levels out pretty good right there at 985. So these are going to be your support levels, and then your resistance levels are going to be on up here. So strong buy, if it dips down below 10, right at 930, that's where I'd want to go ahead and jump in the trade if I'm not in it already. Resistance to break is going to be this one right here at 1160, and if we can get past 1160, we can take it up here to right around 1246, and then try to get the double top on the 20 day at 1297, uh, and I got a $15 target on here. Don't forget about that wick up there at 13.35 on the 20 day. Three support levels. Again, we've got this one right here. I'll magnify this up just a little bit so we can see these numbers better. 10.35, 9.91, and then a strong buy at 9.30 with a resistance to break at 11.60 on up to 12.11 to 12.49. And then we can get to that $15 mark if the momentum keeps up. Looks like the TTM does want to turn around. So that's SPI. The next one we're going to be looking at is going to be a pot stock, another pot stock, CGC. Good little trade. Ooh, look at us going up after hours, 53.19. I know somebody lost this trade today. I bought a put on this thinking it would pull back here, but nope. Looks to me like I've got suckered into another bad trade. So we're up here right around 53 bucks here after hours, 53. So it's really got some good momentum behind it. I ran it on up and sold it today. Then bought back in the put. So here's at 50.52. We're going to pull up the daily one minute. Big spike. Okay, so she did have a real good run today, and then she started to pull back. And then she started to retrace back up here after hours. We have a nice little break. This thing could probably run up to $55 if this momentum keeps up. This is really looking good, really looking good. Your first support right here at 52.14, and then that support to hold it needs here to be here, right here at 50.83. Pretty good trade, 50.83, and then... 50 bucks for the solid support to hold. If not, we can pull back to this other 4887. But nice little bounce after hours, and that's up here at 53 bucks. CGC can go as they grow. I like it. Tilray, T L R Y, is another good pot stock that we called out in the room today. Miss Vegas made some good calls, and I think we had a couple others in here make some good calls on this stock. We're closing up here with an ascending triangle after hours. Resistance to break is going to be right here at 44.74. And then low support to hold is going to be here at 40.66. That needs to hold at 40.66. Or we could drop down here maybe to this level right in here, right at 39.46 into 38.27. And we're going to pull up the three-year on this one too. Take a look at the three-year chart. This thing ran all the way up to 300 bucks at one time. And we have a resistance, a hard resistance to break here at 52.14. And you see we already did that after hours. And the next one's going to be right up in here at, ooh, that's a pretty big bounce. Right there at 59.42. And then maybe right in here at 64.82 level. and 74.42 so I'm really liking this one right here right now Tilray let's pull it back to 20 day take a good look at it let's 
So this has been a pretty good, pretty good uh, stock. They say they might have earnings by the middle of 2022, and I think this is running up on great speculation. Plus, um, the here in America, I think they're trying to for, trying to get into the pass the laws for the medical marijuana itself. It was in the news this week. So we got low support down here that needs to hold on Tilray at 38.47. The next one's going to be, let me magnify this up so we can see it a little bit better. 38, make it 38, 38, 39, 46, and 40, 66, with that first support right here at 41, 97 that needs to hold. Resistance to break now is going to be this 44, 74, up to 45, 49, which was today's high. We can get up there at 45.49. We can take this long. We'll pull up at three year. Magnify this up a little bit. Nope, can't do that. Let me see here. Got to try to find a different one year maybe. There's a 52.14, 59.42, 64.82. And 74. 42 so these all look good i think we're very bullish in this sector as i said also in the ev car sector and the last one we're going to talk about is shrimp and then i might mention tesla shmp i'm long on this i'm closing my eyes on this trade i've got it in my big account i want to see if we can get up here i think we did get up here to, to uh the next resistance level is going to be trying to break this double top three-year high at 94.9, at, right at 95 cents. Now, I am I think this stock can go up to 250 to 5 bucks, and that's going to be SHMP. I'm really bullish on this trade. We called it down here at 9 cents, and she's ran up ever since. Then I got back in the trade. I got out of the trade, sold it, and then it started to jump. So I said, let's pull this thing back down here to 41 and that's where I got back in it, and I'm up 100% on it. And I sold half my position yesterday at 75, and I'm running all the rest of its profit. So we're going up to 94.72. I'm long on this trade. It's a stock that I'm just going to forget about and not even worry about it. Shrimp, if everybody know, don't know shrimp, you can always look up on their website. And let me see if I can find it here. Pull up their website, do a little bit of reading in here. They've got their news. You can always check the news and see what's happening. But this is uh, where they raised uh, shrimp, kind of environmentally clean stock here. We're talking about something that will keep the ships out of the ocean, keep that shrimp going well in the ocean, and then they can farm raise them. And I heard they were just delicious shrimp, just the best you can buy. And that's it for the market report. But we're going to throw one more in here, and that's going to be Tesla. Tesla had that China news that came out about the regulators. So I kind of made me into a bear a little bit. I love Tesla. Don't take me wrong. But we're going to go ahead and pull up the chart here on the daily, or at least pull up the 20-day. See if I can find our little support level. I want to see this thing hold and go no lower than 817. We've got that third support right down here at 826.15 and then that first one or the second one so we've got two three and four and then this first one is the pivot point right here at 845.43 that needs to hold if not we're going to go ahead and bring it up to that resistance level right up here right around the 850 whoops you got a tricky mouse Right there at 857.68 to the 862, and then maybe right around 869. But I'm going to let the bears take control of this trade and then come in next week and kind of relook at it again, unless something happens and she starts to break up and I can scalp it first thing in the morning. But with the news, in my opinion, that's my own personal opinion, I think we can pull back one more tier, maybe hit a double bottom down here at 836. Or that 826 and then a strong buy right down here at 817 I'm raising the bar last time I did a video on this trade I said we're gonna to go to 777 
we hit 780.10, and then she went ahead and retraced back up. I'm in the same kind of mood I was in this time, and I think I'm going to, if we can't hold this 836.79 level, we're going to drop down to these other two support levels. This is critical. This needs to hold. This is a double bottom. If not, that's where we're going to pull back, or she's going to turn around and try to find resistance right around 869.79. And that's going to be Tesla. That's it for the market report. Lasted about 20 minutes, a little longer than usual, but there's some good tickers in here, and I kind of wanted to let the room know that, you know, what I'm watching, what I'm looking at. Always remember, Miss Vegas is one of the best uh, stock callers that I know. She posts alerts in here on her stock twits if you're not a member, I mean on Twitter, if you're not a member to our room, and we're posting charts in here at all times. So keep that in mind. Hit that like button. We sure appreciate it. Hit that follow button. We sure appreciate that too. Also, we have our stock twits. You can follow us on our stock twits accounts. Hit that follow button. Follow us on here. Miss Vegas has one too. She's at eight right here. You can hit that follow button. Follow her. And that's it for the aftermarket report. Everybody have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.